Hey, how's it going everyone? This is YLAM here. It's been a couple of weeks since I actually did a new segment. It's just been a little bit slow, but I'm glad that there's actually some news to talk about. So let's go ahead, get right into it. So the first one that I do want to talk about is Sigma is potentially doing some lenses for the Fujifilm system. Now, as somebody who has been part of the Fujifilm's community for quite a while now, it's been a really long saga about this. We heard that the Fujifilm system just didn't have a big enough market segment. We also heard complaints from Sigma that Fujifilm Films doesn't disclose their protocols. Well, Fuji Films has now made their protocols public. It's pretty safe to say that the Sigma engineer at this point probably does have the Fuji Film systems. So now we get a statement like this saying that there could be Fuji X lenses for 2021, which is really great news. And one of the reasons for this is that Sigma did make an announcement saying that they had issues with their full frame sensor that they were developing. So with this cancellation, they could be repurposing some of their 2021 budget into trying to grow into another field which could be the Fujifilm cameras which would be great for the Fujifilm's community. Now I'm really speculating on this but a lot of times when you have a company the size of Sigma they always want to grow every year with the cancellation of such a large project which means a lot of things went wrong they're still going to try to grow the company and one of the ways that they can do it is to move into another product line that they already knew so going into the Fujifilm system which is probably going to be the next largest community that they can grow into so here's hoping that they do spend a little bit of R&D money on Fujifilm lenses to really grow their product line and also this is something that I would also speculate on is that as they actually work with Fujifilms they might actually be able to collaborate on other projects we know that Sigma for the longest time has been wanting to create their own camera line and it's something that they really haven't done very well their latest cinema camera the FP it did make a quick splash but nobody really talks about it anymore it's kind of a strange little camera that has a small niche following they could really learn a lot from Fujifilms because if there's one thing that Fujifilm really knows it's how to create a very diverse product line because you've seen it in all of their camera bodies they all have very distinctive styles features and functionality and they work really well and that's something that Sigma can really learn from Fujifilm so a collaboration between these two companies to make a new style of camera for Sigma would make a whole lot of sense. Moving on to the next news bit I do want to talk about, which is they did submit a patent for a new 35 millimeter lens, but on Fuji rumors, they're saying that it is not in development. And this is kind of curious because the 35 millimeter lens is probably one of their older lenses, but it's also a lens that I really love. I probably would not upgrade my 35 millimeter f1.4 because it is one of my favorite lenses to take black and white pictures with. And I just can't see myself right now upgrading to a Mark II, but who knows, they could do something really terrific with a classic lens. Speaking of other lenses, they did start pre-orders for the 70 to 300. It's the lens that I've already talked about. It's a very interesting lens. The reviews that has come out for it looks pretty good. So I'm really interested in seeing other reviews and I might be picking up one of these in 2022. The last story that I do very quickly want to talk about is from Samsung and their introduction of a new sensor. Now this new sensor, it sounds like when I'm reading it, it's actually a smartphone sensor, but that doesn't mean that it can't be actually used for, you know, crop sensors or full frame. It looks like they're starting to catch up with technology that Canon has had for quite a while now. So they call theirs the Dual Pixel Pro, but it does sound a lot like Dual Pixel Autofocus from the Canon line, and it does work in vertical and horizontal modes which Canon has called theirs quad pixel autofocus to be able to work in vertical and horizontal modes so there is still a lot of continuing technology for autofocus systems it doesn't look like we've really reached the bottom of the well on that but we all know that autofocus systems has been really important for the last several generation of cameras it pretty much made Sony a dominant force in mirrorless cameras it has forced other companies to really step up their game in terms of autofocus and we have been a fitted drastically from that so just reading from this story right here here's hoping that samsung is continuing to push forward in that technology to make it even better because i would love to see samsung start producing sensors for the fuji film system because from a manufacturing standpoint sony has been so dominant in terms of producing sensors it would really be nice to see another manufacturer come in and really give sony a run for its money in terms of being a manufacturer of sensors for our mirrorless cameras Anyhow, that's all I have to cover for this week. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing well out there, and I'll see you in the next video.